Hello, my name is Mike Finkel, and I am the founder of Honor Own of Maryland in 1985 and their first executive director. I retired at the end of 2020, and I'm here today to give tribute to a friend and coworker who is no longer with us, Emily Hoffman. Emily passed away in May of 2020. She was only 59 years old. I first met Emily in 1988 when she was doing an internship at the Mental Health Association of Baltimore. She was working on an MSW degree from Smith College and we became very close friends. Emily was brilliant, a wonderful person with a dynamic personality and an infectious laugh. Emily worked for Honor in Maryland twice, one time as our state network coordinator working with our network of peer-operated wellness and recovery centers throughout Maryland, and another time as a recovery employment counselor, helping folks to find employment. Emily loved to travel and experience different cities, and so lived in different places. Originally from, from Cleveland, Ohio, Emily not only lived in Baltimore, but also lived in Albany, New York, working with policy research associates, and she also lived in New York City for a time doing media work. Emily's passion was to be a great advocate for systemic mental health policy reform. She loved to testify in Maryland's General Assembly in Annapolis on legislation impacting the lives of people with mental health challenges, especially patients' rights legislation. She also spent time on Capitol Hill talking with legislators about what helps and what hinders the lives of recipients of mental health services. And we also represented the interest of people with lived experience by serving for several years on the board of directors of the Judge David Bazelon Center for Mental Health Law in Washington, DC, which is the premier civil rights advocacy organization for citizens with mental disabilities in the country. Emily's life was one of activism in the promotion of positive changes uh, for people with behavioral health challenges. And this was probably her most important contribution to the peer movement, not only here in Maryland, but at a national level. The following is a message from Dan Fisher, CEO of the National Coalition for Mental Health Recovery and the National Empowerment Center. I was very sorry to hear of this sad news. Emily was so authentic, so real, so spontaneous that I can still hear and feel her laughter, her spirit, her outrage, her hopes, and her passion for humanizing an all too impersonal system and world. Emily was an exceptionally skilled advocate, a wonderful person, and a valued member of the Honor Road of Maryland family. We miss her to this day. Rest in peace, Emily. Thank you.